Good morning. I wanted to go over today um, what I would consider to be the ultimate survival gun. You know, many people are going to say a handgun is a survival gun. You're crazy. Well, not necessarily. Let me give you the arguments why. Um, this is a Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum. Uh, they've been making this gun continuously since 1955. It's one of the toughest handguns and most common handguns in the market. Um, you can get them in barrel lengths 4 and 5 eighths inch up into the 6 and a half inch barrel length which this is here. But let me give you a couple of reasons why I think this is the ultimate and probably ideal survival gun. One caliber. 38 Special will take any small game uh, in close range like 25 yards, squirrel, rabbit, grouse, larger uh, 357 Magnum with the right bullets has been used successfully to take moose. Uh, I, I suggest you look up the articles from the early 30s written by Doug Wesson who took a 357 Magnum out and deliberately decided what he could do with it and he killed elk, moose, pronghorn antelope, pronghorn antelope. It will do all of those things with the right bullets. Um, people think the 357 Magnum is strictly a defensive cartridge. It is an excellent defensive cartridge, but it's also a great hunting cartridge. Um, it just hasn't gotten notoriety over the last couple, two, three decades because of the bigger calibers like 44 Magnum and large ones from there. This gun also is a very, very tough and dependable gun. It's a coil spring in here. The main spring is a coil spring, virtually indestructible. It's a very tough action, very rugged, very hard to, to break. I've rarely seen one of these guns break. Now, I see a lot of guys going to guns like AR-15s, which, nothing against them. If you want one, fine. But, caliber-wise, 223, great for personnel, great for small game, bigger game like deer, not so much. It'll do the job, but it won't do it very well. Um, I've seen guys shoot deer with 223, only to have them just keep on going. It doesn't seem to really, it doesn't have the knockdown power. Um, this cartridge here, while not quite big in numbers of knockdown, it's still, you're talking about a decent sized hole, bigger than most 30 caliber. You know, the secret would be letting a lot of air in, letting a lot of blood out. Um, bullets like this. 358429, very good hunting bullet, has been around a long time, excellent penetration. There's a lot of decent hollow points on the market you can use. But if I was going to go with a rifle, I would probably use the 3030. But also as a survival gun, this gun is compact. It does not take up a lot of room, in a, even with a holster, this does not take a lot of room. You're not talking about. Um, like some of the movies where you see guys taking on a whole bunch of people in a survival situation you're most likely going to be practicing escape and evade you're not going to take on a lot of people you're not going to want to your job is most likely to be to escape and evade and fight only when necessary that's the truth of it you're not going to outshoot a bunch of guys well, even with basic even if you have good military skills firearm skills and even have basic skills you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Um, this here is a Lyman 310 loading tool. This is what I used to reload this cartridge with. It fits along with everything that goes with it in this AK-47 magazine pouch. Everything that everything fits right in that pouch. It's all pretty much self-sufficient. You can throw it on, on a belt and away you go. And maybe a pound of powder, a bolt mold or two, some I keep primers in there. Um, and some bullets and that's all you really need. A couple hundred rounds is, is not a hard thing with this. But this is a good cartridge and a good gun because it'll do so much even though revolvers have been kind of put on the wayside for the last few years. This is a good round. It's a good gun. Ideal for uh, backpacking. This, this, this is the gun. I have had many handguns over the years. I've had almost six or seven of these. I've had more of these handguns than I've had anything else. I have yet to break one. I've had them in various calibers, 357 being my favorite. This gun, this caliber, is the perfect survival gun. Um, it will do everything you need it to do. There is nothing this gun cannot do. Yes, it's hard to reload in a hurry. 
Again, that's not something you're really going to be doing in a survival situation. You're not going to be taking on a lot of people. You know, stop looking at Hollywood. Stop looking at television. Practical sense. These are not an expensive gun. You can get them used for three fifty, four hundred dollars. New. You can even get them stainless if you if you like. These guns very simple to use, very simple to maintain, very easy to clean. You're not going to really screw one of these up. Um, they're probably by far the best handgun as far as an outdoorsman is concerned on the market. You can't get better than this. I don't think you'd even want to. Not for not for today's day, the way things are today. Money, caliber, and situation-wise, this is the perfect survival gun. I know a lot of guys are probably going to disagree, but, you know, this is from years of experience. This is from having a lot of guns over the years. I keep coming back to these. These guns do everything you need them to do. Get yourself a Blackhawk. Get yourself some reloading equipment. You know, the ammunition is pricey as it is. And start getting to work.